always, we in this motherfucker, man. Um, Hold on, I can play Jit. Yo. Yo. A.K. My dog said he can play Jit. <laughs> <laughs> my dog said he can play Jit. Hey, man, we in this motherfucker, man. Y'all see, I'm, I'm missing my dog. You know, I ain't got my little brother with me, man. I ain't on. All, uh, all prayers, wishes, and condolences, man, out to my dog, man. Congrats on it. My dog, you moved it to a new house, man, too, man. Congrats on that oh, shit, Jit, man. Uh, shit. You know, we got some family issues going on Level right up. now, man. Um, number of prayers and, and wishes to him, man. Um, my dog say he be in the motherfucker soon, you know. Just got to, you know, with this COVID shit, you know, you got to spend a little time with the fans so you can't, you know, appreciate it. But, you know, for right now, man, we got my dog Ice in this motherfucker, man. Ice here with me. You know, he used behind the boards, you know. That's the that's the voice y'all be hearing. It's not God. That's the voice y'all be hearing. I am the voice of God. Hey, Morgan Freaky told that nigga, well, who else could I be? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> hold, hold your hands up. Hold your hands. Up. I, I wonder. I wonder. <coughs> is Morgan Freeman like the voice of God? Like, like, would that be the voice of God, Morgan Freeman? It probably would. <coughs> I would think so. I would think so. Right. <coughs> Um. <coughs> Facts. <coughs> yeah, bro, that's know. a soothing voice, though. Yeah, that's why I said if I had Morgan Freeman like that as my uh, navigation voice, bro, I'd probably drive off the bridge. You know they did have that. Uh, um, I don't know if they still have it, but uh, it was on Ways. They had his voice. They had his voice navigation on there. It was very soothing. <coughs> oh, yeah, on the Waze app, I seen uh, that shit. Ooh, on the Waze very app. soothing. Yeah, I seen that shit. You're going to turn, you're going to hang left if up heard at that the bark, corner. You know what that is, nigga. Rule that big ass dog, nigga. Come in that bitch you want to. Eat your Man, that nigga up, got a chihuahua. Way a chihuahua. Three ounces, nigga. But bro, I was, I was thinking, I'm like, damn, I remember watching that Evan Omadi. I'm like, mm-hmm. damn, he played a pretty good guy. Oof. At bro, you know, Morgan Freeman's a fucked up individual, though. You know, he's pretty fucked up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like he's married to like his granddaughter or some shit. Wait, he, what? Yeah, he's got kids from like his granddaughter or some shit. Damn. Yeah, look it up. Yeah, like some I don't shit. Even yeah, look that yeah, up. cause I fuck Morgan Freeman very, very tough. We're going on ask him a dog too in the end. Hey man, shit, we've been up to you though, man. Shit, seen you about a couple days ago. Shit, the one thing about doing this shit twice hey, a week, man, bro. I've been leveling up. Uh, I got my little beer celebration for landing in the deal, so. You know, getting into cartoons, getting in some other things. So, man, i have been busy. Nigga. I was like, he leveled up on you niggas. Fuck you niggas. <laughs> Corn muffins. Leveled up on you niggas. <laughs> Trash Don't ass Don't need to nigga. make announcements. You know. Trash ass nigga. Nigga leveled up on your ass. Well, I mean, I'm taking advantage of this damn, this quarantine. So. Yeah. And bro, by taking advantage, my, my taking advantage has been um getting better with my, uh, my 4X shit. Um, getting better with uh just certain shit, man. It's been me just getting better with shit, bro. Me just focusing on a little more shit. Um, mm-hmm. Masterminding some shit. Me and Hollow got some shit planned for when this quarantine shit up. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out Miss Jones. We getting ready to work. Uh, SB New Maniac. Uh, Adult Six, man. Shout out to a couple motherfuckers, bro. We getting ready to motherfucking work. Mm-hmm. Uh, shit, speaking of working, bro, we in the studio just chopping up and shit, man. My dog had a, we just talking about, uh, you know, like porn, porn hub, XNX and all the bullshit. Right. Uh, nigga was like, man, what you be going? I like, bro, I go on uh, chocolate bunnies, nigga. He's like, what does I say, bro? It probably take me to Pornhub and shit, but it goes nothing but black motherfucker, like nothing but black females, fat ass, BBW, whatever you want to call. It. Like that, that's that's my porn cat. That's what I'm finna look up. Mm. He was like, bro, I'm gonna fuck, bro. I'm gonna watch whatever. I'm like, nah, I'm kind of like, I'm the same way in real life. Like I need to see some black ass cheeks. Like I'm the same way in real life. He was, nah, bro, I ain't racist with my porn. I'm like what? I ain't racist, nigga. It's just I prefer what I prefer. That would maybe come with the subject, like nigga, are you racist towards your porn? Like, is it? I'm not necessarily. Not nah, like shit. It's some niggas out here who want to watch transgender gay midget porn. Hey, that's a wild combination. <laughs> hey, <laughs> niggas hanging out, but me, I've never been like prejudiced against it, bro. Because I, but I'll watch a white girl getting fucked. I'll watch a white dude fucking. Like I can watch it. I can watch it. Right. Like if I like I watch porn like a white dude fucking a black girl, I'm like, you don't deserve that. Mm. Like, you don't deserve that pussy. Like, you don't deserve it. Like, look at that waste of good pussy. Like, right there. Like, look at it. Just look at it. It's fucking going to waste on this cracker. 
So I, that's the only thing that ain't made me get. But that's because me personally, in real life, I prefer black women. I don't prefer to see a white man. I don't care. I, I believe in love. I believe in love is is uh between two people, not between man and man or woman and woman, man and woman, whatever. Mm. Love is between two people. Now, I believe in that. But I can't even watch porn without like, nigga, I need to see some black pussy. I need to see a pussy. I don't need to see vagina. I need to see some pussy. And it's a difference, boy. White hoes be having <laughs> vagina. I be needing to see some. I need to see some pussy. Bitch, I need to see P-W-U-S-S-Y. Pussy. I need to see some of that Sweet. shit. Sweet. Sweet pussy. I, but I, I didn't realize I got like that until I got older. Because when I was a kid, bro, you know, you get into any magazine, anything your family members leave around. You're like, oh, shit, this is porn. I'm like, oh, shit. My mm. first time, like, Malcolm, they had Space Jam on, on tape. On the end of Space Jam, had some flicks on there. And I'm like, oh, mm. shit. What the mm. fuck? Whoa. Because, you know, the tape go, like, blue for a minute. You don't mm-hmm. care. All right, we done took it up by nine. You know, tape was still playing. We done ran outside. I come back in the room. My cousin in the room. Like, cuz, we're going. I'm looking like, oh, <laughs> shit, what is this? Like, what the fuck? First time and, I seen some titties. And even, nah, I wasn't the first time I seen titties and shit mm. like that. Because my mama um, used to go to the club with the homegirls and shit, so I done seen the homegirls get dressed in the house and shit. I done seen, been around ass titties. I done been around it. But seeing Dang. people fucking for the first time, like, whoa, shit, that's what you're supposed to do. Like, what the fuck? Like, it, and even then, bro, I'm like, I ain't looking at Playboy magazine unless it's some black ass in there. Like, it's got to be black ass. And I, I bro... Contrary to our beliefs, like, women watch porn way more than we do. Way more. Bro, I can't open my girl fucking Amazon up without having some fucking something to do with porn on that bitch. That bitch. Women are way more hornier creatures than men. Way more hornier. Yeah. I had a female get an attitude with me. Bro, because previous and past experience, I'm not quick to jump on some pussy. Mm-hmm. For one, we live in Fort Myers, Lee County, Florida. Mm-hmm. You from Atlanta. That's, that's, one, that's one and a half. You know what's up. And what I'm saying is all in the numbers. And I ain't got to say no more. It's just all in the numbers. You bitches out here the walking dead, basically. That's what I'm saying. And they filmed the walking dead in Atlanta. Ain't that crazy? Two places y'all just walking around dead. But um, And when we say you a dead man walking, y'all know what we mean, man. You got that package. You dying slowly. Remember they said that shit in Atlanta. You got mm-hmm. that pack. Remember it used to be like a van come around mm-hmm. Atlanta, bro, that used to just test people. Yeah, my homeboy from Atlanta, he's telling me about I'm like, what? Yeah, and they basically put you on a list. But like, you on that list. And people used to be like, ooh, don't touch her. She on that list. Girl got her own uh, load, loadout package. <laughs> and for y'all who don't get that, y'all don't play Call of Duty, man. We play Warzone, man. They don't got a load out package. Hey, but my line, remember back in, they used to be a little slang back in Atlanta. You on that list, and hey, don't talk to them because you on it. My uh, homeboy told yeah, me that. Yeah, he yeah. like, hey, we'll tell the bitch, hey, because down here for my, like, shout out to Chris Jericho. My dog be like, she a little bust out, man. Oh, she a little bust. Don't fuck with her like that. But my homeboy, like, nah, we don't say that. Like, we be like, man, she on that list, bro. Mm-hmm. Fuck with her. Like, list. what? That list of what? That hoes a go? Like, no, like, that list of hoes who got some shit type shit. Mm-hmm. So, me personally, bro, being from Fort Myers, bro, like, I, I know it's a lot of people around who got that shit. So, I ain't never been one to quick to jump on some pussy like that. I'm not quick mm-hmm. to jump on it. If it's too too good to be true, it's it's a saving for a reason. Like, that too good to be true is a saying for a reason, bro. It's real deal too good to be true. My thing is, I, I do the 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 old school family matters. Let let, let everything just merge together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me check you. Let me you check me. You know, and something. You know, a couple of dates, and then I, I'm more uh, I'm more in that Bitch, line I now. Can. I got to move my shit up. But that I, I the value of pussy don't went down for me. Yeah, I'm it sorry. don't went down. You know why? Because it's so free. They just giving it out. It's like yep. it's like Wi-Fi. You got the passcode. <laughs> That's the passcode. Three point five in the back room is the passcode. That's the passcode, bro. Three point five in the back room. Three. That's the motherfucking code. You ain't holding on. That's all they want. You want right there. Three point five in the back room, bro. Mm. They ain't showing no shit up. I see, and I see some females, bro. You know, I ain't gonna say they need it, bro. But that shit, that's just like what they want to get comfortable. And I hate when a nigga be trying to tell me how a female, oh, she evil, bro. She a go. Well, let her go for me. Shit, she ain't went for me yet, nigga. Shit. So I tell me about a bitch who a hoe, cause you don't want, want, want her to hoe with me. Mm. But. Just being be from Fort Myers like that, bro, it made me say, like, I ain't going to be too, like, it's, I'm not too thirsty for puss either. And I've had a woman get upset with me, like, aggravate, like, Mike, what you want, boy? I know you're not gay, da, da, da. What you want, boy? I'm like, you got to understand. I've had seen my homeboy do some shit, my nigga, and I getting fucked up about it. So mm-hmm. now I learn, as I get older, check a man about how he's acting. You being too aggressive with a woman, yo, my guy, chill. Especially nowadays. But back then, you know, you do what you want. But... 
we had a situation. I got a, I got in a bad situation. My name got tarnished by some shit. I'm like, oh no, I will never go through that again. I felt bad just because um, guilty by association is a real thing, bro. Like you can, you feel me? You be doing a podcast, so you you know what they be doing. I didn't mm-hmm. know that nigga left his podcast and went and killed three niggas and sold five bricks. I don't know what he do when he leave. I just Thanks. press record, go Thanks. home and press edit. So you don't really be knowing type shit. You feel me? I see on <laughs> that beer said I see on the steel reserve. Hey man, Richard, man, we miss you, my boy. <laughs> we really, really miss you, Uncle Richard. We need you here. It's but, um, steel reserve, poplin. <laughs> But just growing up before my eyes and, and knowing and knowing shit like that, bro. So it made me it made me say, okay, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be on point about most shit, and I'm a chill. But um, situation happened. I was guilty by association just because I was known to be around these niggas. Mm. It, I ain't had nothing to do with it. So long story less long, bro. I'm I'm kind of staying off about how I am with women. As far as like, I don't even know how to initiate sex. I'm chilling. You are gonna have to start dragging your pussy across my face <laughs> for me to say, okay, bitch, it's time to have sex now. Because that's how I am. I'm I don't know how to. And then y'all just reach. Or something like that. Even yeah, then, slap it across him when y'all. Th- that's that how. I, <laughs> and that's how I know you ready to fuck. Because some women, bro, you know, it's mixed signals. Is real. Mixed signals is real. You hear me? Mixed signals is the realest thing. Oh. Boy, mixed signals is you, some real shit. Ain't no way you mixing them signals up. You can, if exactly. you can dive deep and drag that pussy across my forehead and make sure. And that's make how sure I it's know. Wet. Se- that's how I know it's time to have. It's time to have flex now. Nah. Time to have sex. Now, that's how I know it's time It's time to have sex. Okay. I had a mother get impatient with me. Mike, what's your problem? Da, 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 what, what I, ain't look, I said, no, that ain't the problem. I just want to make sure you were comfortable. Because, mm-hmm. bro, I've been in a situation where I made the chick comfortable and all this and that. And she's like, no, nah, it, it, it ain't that. Okay, no problem. And just because a woman tells you, no, my nigga, stop telling this girl, you pussy at home. Back of that bitch, you lame. You like hoes anyway. It's hoes. You don't want no real nigga. Bro, why you can't take rejection and neglection? Like, nigga, just, mm-hmm. uh, you can't take Move it. Move on. You did not Bruh, get traded. I inbox 33 women every morning. Nobody ever responds. I'm down mm-hmm. to 10 people on my friend list to inbox. I ain't got no response yet. You know what I'm doing in the morning? I'm going fishing. In the motherfucking morning, I'm going mm. fishing. I'm do lying. You, do you open Never up seen. saying that you little dilly Larry of the pickle See, that's the podcast. thing. I need to start with that. I need to start. <laughs> hey, how you doing, beautiful? I think you cute. My name is Little Dilly Larry from the Pickle Sausage Chronicle Boys. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> well, bro, I'm dev- I definitely. Why be on- he give you these shy shoulder? Hey, you know, when y'all know what I Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. I just want some pussy, on, man. man. I just want a little bit of coochie. I just want a handful. That's it. I just want a handful of coochie. That's it. I want a handful of coochie. That's it. Can we go out to eat? You like to cook? I was, I was spending one hundred fifty dollars on some groceries right now. You know how to cook, and you can only cook me mm. a twenty dollars steak. Bitch. As long as you can cook, I feel the cabinets up. But bro, like being being young, bro, that's how I was. That's how I realized. Like my girl, she she's kind of she really aggressive. Like she wants some dick. She gonna take some dick. Hey, when you when y'all doing with y'all podcast. Hey, when you getting off the game? Hey, what y'all, what you doing? When you get off work? Where your ass at? You, you got to go see them right now? Hollow ain't rapping that long. Go get out the studio. Come on home. Like, shit, like, motherfucker be aggressive. Get there. She don't want to do no more aggravated motherfucking boy. Boy. But that's how we are female uh, watch porn more than the motherfucker, bro. Because I come home, this motherfucker watching porn. I'm grabbing the phone. As soon as you grab it and hit the home screen, porn pop. I'm like, whoa, what, the, what are you doing? And you don't grab the phone. The kids don't ever grab that phone. It don't matter. What are you doing? Ain't what are you doing? And I'm saying all kind of shit. I say and the crazy thing is, this happened on two occasions. I don't opened up a girlfriend's phone and I just went right to porn. It's right on porn, and they watching girls eat girls out. I say you nasty dyke ass bitches. Y'all some dyke ass hoes. I approve. Women don't even watch men fucking women. They watch women eating other women not. I approve. They don't even. But they don't even. That's crazy. Watch on porn. That's crazy. Kai on porn. I'm not the only one to watch no white girls eating pussy, bitch. Y'all lame as fuck. Yeah, I I'll say white people, white white pussy done kind of lost his stock on with me. I don't want to look white pussy dropping his stock by the day. You feel me? You could buy right now. You could buy. It's a little overrated. Way overrated. I don't care because it's pink on the outside and inside. I don't care. That it's mean, cute. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's not cute. It looks funny. To bitch. me, it's still cute. It I just, ain't never it's seen it. So I don't know. I, I see him on TV and on uh porn, mm-hmm. barely on porn. I only click on the white person on porn, my nigga. Like she getting ran train on. Like, I say two out of every bitch. ten that you probably will knock down, you're gonna get some dry. You're gonna get some dry pussy, dry put. 
It's gonna be dry. No, no, you gotta say it correctly. Dry hey, you know pussy, what, bro. I realize too though, pussy only get wet when they comfortable. It's wet when they comfortable. Cause I don't, I, I didn't when hit one of my bitches. She done told me she true like true and sometimes not true. Hey, there's some people that just comfortable everywhere. Which is true. <laughs> that, that's how. Which I'm saying. Cause I've I've dealt with my chick. You feel me? And I done dealt with it like we at her in laws' house for the weekend type shit. And she telling me she oh hey no 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 that does like but well, come on hurry let's let's do it just hurry up. But I'm telling her, hey, what's up? She's like, I really ain't in the mood. And then I, we get the fuck. I'm like, oh, I could, yeah, you're not in the mood. I could, cause, but you around your in-laws is different. We around here. You and I'm worried about her mom with them knocking on the door. Bro, like, we stayed the whole weekend. And they were really barging in the room like she was still 16 or some shit. Barging in the room. I'm like, the girl ain't stay here in 15 some years, bitch. Y'all just barging in the motherfucking room like she's still the same little girl she used to be or whatever. So I'm like, damn, that's how they always treat you. Me, meanwhile, like, we sleep the kids in the bed with us as well, so they know we ain't doing nothing funny. But they come, this motherfucker beating the door down. Hey, what y'all in here doing? Your breakfast ready at nine? <laughs> bitch, y'all ain't never cooked breakfast in this motherfucking house. Not breakfast ready at nine. Bitch, ain't this about a bitch? But, but, bro, even then, like, at her in-law, bro, she on, she on some, come on, let's hurry up in the laundry room while everybody out in the back. Like, because everybody was out in the back, but they had an above-ground pool with a patio set and shit. She's like, no, nah, wait, everybody out there, let's go. So we slime outside. I'm like, damn, laundry room right here. Oh, we can see everybody from the laundry room. That's why you trying to fuck from the laundry Oh, I get you, you little slick bitch. Women are way more horny freaky dolls than men. You'll catch your girl watching porn. They be trying to act like, damn, what you doing? I was on Amazon. No, you was not watching Amazon, bitch. I know what you were doing. You were looking at porn. You was looking at BBC's, bitch. Big black cocks, bitch. I know what you were looking at, ho. You a fucking nasty see, that's freak, That's what my ass bitch. be at. Bitch, you a nasty freak, bitch. Look at you. Bitch be looking for motherfucking... Bitch, Amazon. I, hey, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm gonna look for motherfucking... BBWs. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for. I ain't nothing against skinny women. Y'all are very pretty, very cute, sexy, fine. I go but back and forth. I usually just go back and never forth. I, just <laughs> I dated one skinny chick, bro. She broke my motherfucking heart, bro. Never get man. I let a motherfucker under 150 pounds break my heart. I don't know how that happened. Yo, I stumbled upon some uh, Asian squirters. Changed my life for a little while. And I'm so stupid as a jit. I thought Chinese pussy said sideways or some shit. I'm so stupid. I thought that shit said like a division sign. Thought that pussy was cutting half for real. I'm stupid. I'm just. I'm that, stu- I'm that stupid, bro. I'm ignorant, y'all. I, I can't even laugh ignorant. at that. I know. I just, I know it. I'm fuck. I'm ignorant, bro. I know it. That's just the thoughts coming to my head, bro. I'm fu- I'm fucking ignorant, bro. But I, I always been like that, though, man. Even watching anything like my homeboy Jim had stole a Playboy magazine from a gas station one time. They went crazy about these white hoes, and I wasn't even giving a fuck. Like, it don't make me no difference. That shit don't make me no motherfucking difference at all. I could give a fuck less. But my homeboy had a, I never get, Jit, man, Jit brother had a uh, King magazine with Trina on that bitch. Man, I stole that motherfucker. I watched him fight about it. <coughs> Nigga, I stole the magazine and watched, watched his brother even fight about that shit. <laughs> I saw her last year, boy, she still, boy. Woo! Yeah, man, I seen Trina when she, came, when she came out here. Trina still fine. I love to see, like, that black don't crash I really believe in, bro. Because there's some older black folks that are still fine. That old lady on uh, Facebook, Nora Potts, she so do with the gray hair. Bro, she's so damn fine with her old ass. Oh, my God, her old ass. I be sitting there watching her talk her Christian shit, her God. She be sitting there reading scripture early in the morning. I be like, ooh, I go to church with her. She, she would be the mother get me back in church right there. Right there. I went, I get off my spirituality shit just to get back in church for her old ass. If anybody is familiar with Joyce Myers, she got joker lips. I don't fuck with Joyce Myers. <laughs> yeah, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, even just looking at how, how she is, bro. She, uh, uh, a bitch like Joyce Myers, uh, bitch. And that shit about white people. Just look at them, bro. Like, y'all, there's no wit make somebody say, oh my God, that looks good. Like, what the fuck? Like, how could you wake up and be like, look at those lips. Wet lips. Fucking wet lips. Yo, she the Joker, yo. Hey, if anybody on this page, y'all can, if y'all can make a meme of that. What's going on, my boy? Hey, man, my dog's on this motherfucker, man. Let me let wave at whoever on this bitch, man. I appreciate everybody tuning in. Who is tuning in this motherfucker? This motherfucker said like a snail, bitch. Man, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Oh, uh, bro, but that, that's definitely how I am, bro. When it, when it comes to, like, porn, bro, I'm, I'm, I am racist, though. I am, and I hate to say it, but it just, I don't know if it's... Strictly a black. Yeah. And I, I just, I'm, uh, I'm more attracted to the black skin. It's just something about black skin, bro. It's just something about it, like... It's Cause I look black. at video like I never had an Asian, but I look I'll at watch it. it. You know what I'm fucked up? I like them black Asian women. Oh my god! Mm. Oh my god! Angela oh my Yee. god! Yeah, a bitch like Angela, Angela Yee. Yes, but I be watching uh, mm. all Deaf Digital. The girl like Meg. Oh my god, Meg, Meg with the scoop. 
Oh my god. I'm like, yeah. Something about that. It's some boy, it's some boy, it's somebody. Boy. Boy. It's somebody. That that is perfect mix. It's just a perfect mix. Blaze, just black and Asian. Like good, just, it's a good Kool Aid. Just Blaze. Good Kool Aid. That's like me mixing that that pink lemonade with the watermelon Kool Aid. You hear me? With a splash of the uh uh what's that? The mystery hey, that, flavor that you ain't knew about. You hit that. That Kool Aid don't make your mouth pucker. Mm-hmm. I don't even want to put that shit back in the jug. Matter of fact, throw it down the sink. I ain't gonna lie. And, and I'm trying to tell y'all, you know how to make Kool Aid. It goes sugar, two packets. Then you add the water. Facts. Motherfucker gonna tell me, no, you add sugar as it goes so you get the flavor. No, you just make one thick ass line at the bottom of some sugar and you just whip that bitch like you margarine butter together. Measure it you with your hand. That. You did. You hear me? And if I ever, if I see you stirring, if I ever see you stirring Kool Aid, nigga, you might fight. Nigga, you supposed to whip. Nigga, you supposed to whip mm-hmm. that. Nigga, you, nigga. It's supposed to be a, tur- it's supposed be a tornado. Other, nigga, and you. You mark that motherfucker. You you, you, you shake it, don't stir it, nigga. I hate to see a motherfucker making some Kool-Aid. Man, yo, you made it weak, nigga. I don't give a fuck. It's supposed to be a tornado in there. Nigga, whip that that Kool-Aid together. If I ain't in a diabetic coma by the time I sip the first cup, nigga, I don't want it. Nigga, take this shit back, nigga. Just let it whip 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 it, baby. Whip it night and let it whip whip it, baby. Whip it. And whip it all night. Let it whip. Don't you grab grab the spoon, you (laughs) Like you shipping, get mm, whip that motherfucker together, nigga. Put it in six you gear. And whip, man, you whip that bitch, nigga. Man, nigga, don't. That's y'all nigga's problem, man. Let me get my headphones out before I fuck them up. You and my dog jit me in. You know, yo, my dog need to make sure you hit this shit or you fuck niggas. I'm even shit, nigga. I'm even racing when it comes to my Kool Aid, nigga. Nigga, I ain't gonna lie. I'm racing on so many levels. I only like blue Dutch masters. I'm racist, okay. nigga. And I like brown rice cones over over white papers. Straight up. Okay. I, well, I do. I don't know. The rice cones be a lot better. I don't know. You ever tried them? Rice cones? Oh, the raw cones. The it's rice grain out. paper. It's, mm. it's joints, but it's made of the rice grains. Oh, 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 oh. I like them. Why, I like them. Why, why my hungry ass was thinking of uh, ice fat. cream cones? Because you fat. I was thinking you was talking about this waffle. Nigga fat. This nigga fat. <laughs> this nigga fat. Hey, shout out to Sonic for fucking my order up and giving me a free ice cream cone, though. Hey, shout out to Sonic, man. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, for real, shout out to Sonic. I, I fuck with y'all. Fuck Waff, with y'all. Waffle cones over uh, cake cones. Mmm. I'm taking waffles. I fuck with cake cones though, man. But when they get soggy, they garbage. They garbage. But when that waffle soggy, you still can eat yeah. that. Yeah. And dip my waffle in chocolate too. <laughs> fuck it. Woo! Dip my waffle in chocolate too. Fuck it. I don't nigga, mean, throw, nigga throw strawberries and yeah, pineapple on it. I don't I'm care. even Just racist throw, when it comes to my on. ice cream. Nigga, I'm on chocolate, nigga. Fuck you mean. Nah. I'm a, what I'm going to do with vanilla? Fuck you mean, nigga. You better put some syrup nah, on Nah, I don't need shit. no vanilla in there, but give you me can, all the rest of this. You put vanilla strawberry. in my shit. I'm going to smother it with chocolate some syrup. some strawberry in there. I'm going to put chocolate syrup all over my mm-hmm. shit. Show you what we supposed to do. You see something You know white? what? Put rum raisin in mine. I tasted rum raisin for the first time. Like, it's actually right. Yeah, I had that at Baskin Robbins. That shit. Hey, it tastes like rum. This, this shit need to open. I like basketball, especially when they make that frozen. The frozen yogurt is pretty good because they eat a little scooper with it. Mm. I like that. Yeah, mm. yeah, that real gelato. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yes, sir. Readers. I've been fat my whole fucking life. I've been mentally fat all my life. <laughs> hey, you an undercover fat nigga. <laughs> yeah. Hey, my cousin like that, bro. He want to be fat. Like, he want to be fat. That's like that's his thing. He want to be fat so bad. He be going to McDonald's again. He be going to uh, Wendy's again. Two four for fours and shit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, you're not fat. Because if you was really fat, you just got a Dave Juicy Burger, bro, and put extra patty on it. But we could put it away, though. Like a fat nigga. And don't go on nigga, matter, no bro, my Bro, my girl want to be a big bitch so bad. I'm like, calm down. She like, oh, my God, man, I'm so fat. I ate all them Pringles and the, and the whole roll of cookies. I'm like, that's it? I would eat a pack of cookies. Who are you who you trying to impress me? Facts. You trying to impress me? I got trespass from buffets. You can never impress me. You can, nigga. It is not all you can eat. It's all you can eat while there. Understand, black man. Understand. I can't even open up a pack of crackers. Whole pack go. Can't even open. Man, up a bro, pack. my girl open a pack no of crackers and then she gonna wrap it up. And I'm like, they gonna be stale. You man, give me the crackers, man. You wasting crackers. Go ahead, crackers. finish them up. All right. Ain't no food going to waste around here either. You hear me? All right. Like them little ten crackers that they get you for a little lunch. Bro. Man, I mean, hell, they man, eat that them. shit going already. <laughs> and I'm stacking my shit cracker, cheese, meat, cracker. I'm not going cracker cheese meat. I was wondering why the fuck I get to the end and ain't no more crackers. Mm-hmm. That's why you supposed to one. No, I'm going mm-hmm. cracker cheese meat cracker. I'm making a stack, bro. Or do you go cracker meat cheese cracker? Mm. No, I'm I going d- cheese. I d- nigga, I, d- 
I like to eat all my stuff individually. What the cheese, then the meat, nigga? You, yeah, nigga, you. That was your last meal, and the first meal of the day, wasn't it? I Mm-mm. could tell that was your only meal. You weren't gonna eat no more, was it? Mm-mm. You weren't gonna eat because no I wanted, wow, to, I, I wanted tell. to tackle the cheese. I ain't like the cheese be all in my teeth. Tackle the cheese separately. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, I seen a white boy eat a piece of real, a piece of one cold. I say I thought I was supposed to warm it up. No, they make it like this. So why I go tell my mama get me one? I tried. That was the nastiest shit in the world. That's nasty than the motherfucking oh. Uh, but when you had it though, it was nasty. <laughs> nasty yeah, but shit in the when world. When did you have it? I had that. Sh- uh, <coughs> like your time, like around lunchtime. You saw like eleven o'clock when they let you no, for no, lunch. No, no. I'm saying as a kid, like what's the age? I was probably like eight, nine. My mom, we couldn't well, afford. Taste should have kicked in. Yeah, but you know, like bro, when you a kid, bro, like my, we if we only could eat what my mama could afford. Like nigga, I remember eating chicken out of the can, nigga. Like, yeah, we used to go to food Ugh. banks and shit. Yeah. Be chicken out of can. Nigga ain't never had chicken in the can. Mm-mm. Man, you put some barbecue sauce, pull chicken up. All right, about pork in the can. All right, nigga, we round this bitch pulling pork apart, this motherfucker. Barbecue in the motherfucking pot. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Pull pork. Yeah. I got bro, you. Bro, we, we ain't had shit. We had bags of cereal that said cereal. Sugar just said sugar on it. Oh yeah. Oh, Not take that bag. The we government, had, the we, white bag. We had we had we had Domino sugar. It was cheap. That yellow bag, Domino. It was cheap. What? We had that Domino. Yeah. I didn't have long. Uh, we used to go to Bravo and shit. Nah. Yeah, nigga. You go on Bravo. That bitch smell like the flea market. Oh nah, my I god. I had the plain cans. That was white. You ever went to Bravo on, on uh, Palm Beach? Nah. That bitch smell like the flea market. Mm. Oh my god. It smelled like they cutting chicken in the back of that bitch. Oh, they nah, be had. Bro, you go to that Haitian meat market on Fowler, they got whole goat heads was, in that bitch. Bro, why you, oh, my God. Why you stole oh my, my God. <laughs> bro, what the fuck? Why you stole oh my, my God. <laughs> my nephew running around to my uncle Mike, you look. I said, yo, put that shit back. Fuck wrong. Fuck you get a whole goat Son. head from. Oh, my God. Yo, the Fowler, look, any Haitians, any Zoes watching this, no, no hatred for that store. They just need to get their... I don't know if they if they make it past cold. I'm sending USDA in that motherfucker. You got me fucked up. Something. You know something. what? Let me shut up because y'all take stamps and I appreciate that. No, that no, I that's true. Y'all. But it's still I like appreciate y'all. they can get some fresher product. Like we need to they need to <laughs> communalize with some people. <laughs> like, nah, like I could come through there and help with hey, you with the marketing. Y'all need though. fresher products. <laughs> I'm just, no, I'm just saying cause it smell like like it's hard to go get pizza. <laughs> hey, that nigga said y'all need fresher products in that bitch. Oh my god, net bone still got a head attached to it. <laughs> That's how fresh, how fresh you want that motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god, bro, bro. Hey, well, bro, I fuck with these meat markets around here. I ain't gonna lie, I fuck with them. I fuck, I fuck with them. I fuck with them a little tough. I fuck with them tough. I give them that. I fuck with them a little tough. Only, only, only for the simple fact, bro, like. I'd rather really go to the meat market before I go to Walmart. And I don't I don't shop like that. You know, just growing up with uh, how my mama raised me, bro. I didn't shop, um, I didn't get everything at uh just Walmart. Like my mama used to go to Publix, get certain shit, catch deals and shit. So when I see certain motherfuckers be on some man, I'm went out with Walmart, spent all this money. I'm like, you know, you could have got all that meat from the meat stove for thirty dollars, nigga. Oh, I did this. I'm like, what? Man, bro, hell no, nah, bitch. Me personally, I'm finna go to the meat stove. I'm finna go to Bravo. I'm finna go shop around, bitch. I'm looking in the papers for sales. All right, I'm going to sales to get a big ass jar, whatever. All right, I'm finna spend my money wisely, nigga. They tell you as a kid, don't you know, uncle used to give you a dollar. Don't spend it all in one place. What the fuck I'm finna spend one dollar? Bitch, it's only one place to spend this motherfucker. They tell me but, shit as a kid. That she's pissing me off. Don't spend but it, it taught place. you to stretch it out. Man, man. Because you, you can't. remember when we had that dollar, though. <laughs> You can go in there and get you like five cent bubble gum, get a little bit of this, get a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that. You can do that now. You can do that now, but before you can do none of that shit. Hey, man, I see y'all tuning in. Hey, listen, I want to give a shout out to everybody tuning in too, man. Shout out to all the essential workers. Shout out to all the non essential workers. Shout out to all the, the, the deadbeats. Shout out to all the, the, the stand ups. <laughs> Matter of <laughs> fact, fuck the deadbeats. Shout out to all. We'll we shout y'all out on, on the bogus ass episode. Nah, fuck that. Cause my dog ain't here. That don't mean it's a bogus episode. Fuck that. Nigga, shout out to all the motherfucking... Uh, I want to say shout out to the 12 people that uh, listen to the podcast on the Apple Podcast Network. Appreciate yeah, I pre- that was me, bro. I appreciate that. Yeah, that was me. All, one. Oh, so all 12 I, of so you? I appreciate uh, all 11 of y'all. I even left a review. I mean a rate. I ain't review it. Yeah. Right. Leave a rate review. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. Be looking forward to our shit. 
I was saying, wait, you gonna uh, upload more of them? I seen it was uh, fuel, so I was like, I ain't got time to watch all these, listen to all these bitches. I just let some of them play. Fuck that. But we are on I- iTunes at the EXT Network. Uh, Fever Fanatic shit on SoundCloud and Spotify. You fuck niggas. Fuck y'all mean, nigga. Nigga, listen to me, nigga. Go watch me, nigga. Fuck you mean, nigga. Hey, man, to all you motherfuckers, I be telling y'all leave some subject comments or some shit. Let me know what y'all want to talk about. Bitch, don't tell you nothing, so I'm going to keep talking about the same shit. I keep talking about it. Nothing. Oh, when the cameras come off, I got to I gotta remind me. I got the technique for you. Man, my dog said when the cameras go off, nah, fuck that. We finna let y'all motherfuckers know we was going to talk about it. It's you, bitch. We were going to talk about you, you crab-ass motherfucker. Nah, I ain't talking That's about something. I'm nah, something to level up. Nah, oh, my bad. Level up tactic. Fuck, I'm finna level up on you, motherfuck mm. boy, my boy. Boy. Hey, yo, son. Shh. My shit is raw. My shit is authentic. And you can't spell bars. Man, that ain't even my punchline, nigga. I fuck with Arsenal, nigga. That nigga be going hard. I fuck with that battle rap shit. That is the funniest shit in the world, bro. Nigga, you're not this close to me telling me you gonna fuck my baby mama in front of my mom's. Like, that, that shit is hilarious, bro. Right. Nigga be pulling out. Nigga pulled out paperwork on a nigga the other day. I'm like, whoa, ho, 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 this shit is real. Nigga said, you did a bit, but you only did half a six. Here goes the real paperwork. Your man's a snitch. I'm like, oh, ho, ho. hey, bro, nigga had real paperwork. I don't even give a fuck. I didn't see the paper. I don't care if it was real or not. It, it was an impact. Fuck it. <coughs> that shit was funny, bitch. Your man's a snitch, but that shit had me dying laughing. I watched the dumbest shit, bro. I find the dumbest shit amusing. Right. A, lot, a lot of people don't watch The Office, bro. I think The Office is fucking hilarious. I think that is some of the dumbest, funniest shit in the bro. I'm gonna watch that, bro. I'm gonna watch that bitch and die laughing every time it comes. I could watch an old episode. I'm gonna die laughing, bro. Mm-hmm. It's so fucking funny. I watched the mm-hmm. dumbest shit. Just me, bro. It's kind of like a dry humor. Yeah, I, I prefer dry humor. I see everybody talking about. You, did you get a chance to watch uh, Black as Fuck on Netflix? It was alright. I like it. I like it a lot. That's how Kenya is. He's not an actor. He's a writer. So I acted how I am in real life. Mm. That's why they come off like that. Mm. That's like, people tell me all the time, Mike, you a character. Okay, bet. So if I am who I am all the time, on and off camera, hit action, I'm still the same guy. What if it doesn't work like what you envisioned it to work because you thought I was going to turn up to another level? Mm. They think him being a writer, he's he's like, this is me. It's very dry, bro. It's, It's very, I like it. It's not dope like that, but it's good. The writing is good. They were talking about Rashida Jones. I'm like, talking about how do they got a white girl? I'm like, that's Quincy Jones' daughter. Mm. Y'all got to be the dumbest niggas in the world, bro. Mm. A nigga gonna tell me a show called Black as Fuck, but they got a white mama. It can still be black as fuck. Mm. But now why it's even more black as fuck because her dad's Quincy Jones, who's one of the blackest motherfuckers of all time. Mm. And without Q- Quincy Jones, we wouldn't have that motherfucker. Uh, QD3, that was his son. Remember, he, he's the one that did the beef documentaries and shit. QD3, Quincy Jones. Mm. Uh, yeah, QD3, that was Quincy <laughs> Jones' son. Yeah, QD3 Entertainment. That was Quincy Jones' son, Rashida Jones. That's Quincy Jones' daughter. They mm. talking about she ain't this, she ain't. Bro, she's great. She used to be on Parks and Recreation. Funny as shit. She's funny. I've never seen that shirt. Bro, that shirt is, oh my God. Tina Fey's funny. But shit like that. I mean, bro, I watch some of anything, bro. It's going to give me a laugh, bro. I would watch the dumbest shit and laugh so fucking, bro. Shit makes me laugh. And a lot, I watch it. It just never came through our radar. That's the reason why. It's pretty it. good. It's uh, Parks and Recreation is really anything because I came up when I was a kid. I watched Saturday Night Live for 30 minutes until mm. Mad TV would come on. Mm. When it came on, I switched over. So, bro, I used to fucking Mad TV, SNL, bro, and Living Color. Uh, what was the other show, bro? Remember, it was another show. I was more Living Color and Mad TV, or wasn't an SNL guy. I got into SNL because um, the musical acts. Um, I get to see DMX perform. I get to see uh, Jay Z performing and shit. Um, just <laughs> the acts, the acts, the musical acts, and then the weekend update would get me, and then. I remember watching the Chris Rocks. I remember being, I'm, nigga, I was born in 1990. I remember mm-hmm. watching Chris Rock as, like, I remember watching the Gumbies and shit, like, damn, Eddie Murphy, Ben, that nigga, like, this shit is dope. Living mm-hmm. Color didn't, wasn't on that long. And then Matt TV would only be an hour. This shit is almost two hours. Mm-hmm. And it's got a musical act in between it. I stayed watching that shit. I grew up watching Arsenio Hall show and shit, nigga. I remember watching yeah, that Yeah, I watched shit. that. It, and he had that big ass jacket on looking like Darkwing Duck. It was just something about, it was just something about, uh, uh, SNL where they was all looking at the screen and teleprompters and I like Matt, Matt TV, TV. Was it was definitely little, more yeah it was more Matt funny Liverpool, to me yeah hell yeah what y'all grew up watching man leave it in the comments man what y'all grew up watching MTV uh MTV y'all grew up watching Mad TV in Living Color did y'all grow up watching on um, like SNL Mad TV all day yeah man. I definitely grew up I grew up watching all three of them bro and that's how I know that um one day I will be a stand up comedian I don't know when or how I'm, how I'm emerging to it I'll be a stand up comedian because I love comedy. I love stand-up comedy. I listen to every uh, 
Russell Peters all the way down to fucking Patrice O'Neal, bro, mm-hmm. to fucking Corey Holcomb, to Ari Spears, bro, to fucking mm-hmm. anybody, bro. Uh, bro, I listen to so much stand up, bro. Some of my favorites are probably like Patrice O'Neal, Red Fox, and shit like that. I really think Corey, I like those motherfuckers that push the boundaries. That's why Dave Chappelle is not my top 10. He's not a top 10. He's good. He's insightful, but he don't push boundaries like Red Fox got in front of a room full of white folks and said, I like that white bitch right there. Mm. You weren't allowed to say shit to white people at the time, let alone tell a white bitch you like her. I think that was pushing for somebody to have. Well, I mean, if you put Dave during that time frame, then he probably would have pushed. He wouldn't have. He would have pushed. He's too much insightful. Nobody gives a fuck about your insight then. They want to get inside of you. That's why Richard Pryor left him inside. Richard Pryor would tell you how he just got his, how he tried sucking dick for the first time. He was so high on crack. Like it, and it's insightful. It's because it's so edgy and like, whoa, Richard, what are you telling us? But he, he's that. You feel me? Mm. And a lot of people don't get that. That um, that's one thing I like about Dave Chappelle. His humility at itself. He'll talk about himself. Self-deprecation. I like that a lot. Um, Gabriel Glaces is one of the best at it. Fluffy, fat dude. Mm. He at self-deprecation. He'll joke on himself really good. I think that's dope. But when it comes to community, I just like people who push it forward, bro. Corey Holcomb with his fucking uh, abortion jokes. That was amazing, bro. The man said he found an abortion clinic with a pool table. He won half his money back by the time he left. That was fucking amazing. That's amazing, bro. For him, for somebody, for this motherfucker to say, I would, nigga, nigga, fuck your mother. My mama dead. Well, I dig the bitch up and find something to say about him. Mm. That is funny, bro. Corey Holcomb is one. Corey Holcomb, be, that's why I like shit like that. And I don't. So you want it. you want to be that type of comedian no, to rather, push boundaries? Yes, because Dave Chappelle is there, but he's not top ten because there's been ten more before him. The Dave Garland's who's pushed, mm-hmm. saying nigga this and nigga that, a white man. Mm-hmm. Like there's people who've already pushed those boundaries, so I don't give Dave that. You feel me? And the ones that he pushed, I just like his insight is dope. He pushed, he pushed more TV than 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 actually himself. Cause you got to think about it, that Dave Chappelle show was controversial in its own right. Like writers it pushed and writers a lot. and writers and writers and writers. Now I understand that, but he still hold on, hold on, he still hold on, was hold on, him hold on, though. Hold on, hold on. Think about Red Fox and what the fuck he did on TV before there was ever Chappelle show and the shit he was saying about white people. As the man who ran a junkyard, think about that. See that, and that's what I'm saying. But that that's was, different opportunities. No, 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 no. That was way more controversial than the Clayton Bigsby shit. Any of that? Oh, of course, I'm not. And that's, no, and I'm that's not, what I mean. I'm so, not comparing. So, so, when, so when people say they're top tens, I'm saying you gotta go generationally first because you can never say LeBron is better than Kobe or Jordan just because he wasn't here first. But you gotta look at LeBron in his his pro, in in his his situation right now, like. Everybody likes to compare everybody but to what whatever. But, but th- like can that said. person be iconic? And like, I feel like you can be very iconic in your in your own right. Okay, now that's so right. if you're gonna be in your own right, are you gonna be the Joe Rogans of the world? Are you gonna be? No, you're not gonna be that. But you are gonna be Lily Dilly, and we're gonna judge you off of Lily Dilly. But my, you gotta think, me and Joe Rogan, both of our, uh, how would you say our? Uh, Influences. Both of our influences vary. Like, I know a lot of shit that Joe Rogan don't fucking know at all. And I know damn near everything Joe Rogan knows because I've studied him and I know what he studies and shit like that. But I know so much shit that Joe Rogan never know. Like, he didn't know certain songs. Like, he didn't know when when, when uh, 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 Donnell Rollins asked him, Nigga, niggas, which are 16 to be about? And Joe was like, fuck is a 16? He didn't even know what 16 bars meant. Yeah, they, like, he's very it, it, Yeah, He's not urban. So, he, he, he but knows mind he's thing. very urban. He knows dead present front and back. He knows run the jewel front and back. Wu-Tang front and back. Yeah, he that, had a cutoff. Urban. Yeah, he exactly. Cut so I understand that. But but um, my field and shit would go to a whole nother point too. And I think Joe Rogan is a great stand-up comedian because his insight. Insight was makes you great, bro. Mm-hmm. Red Fox said, if you can make rapes and cupcakes make a room full of people laugh, then that's what made it happen. If I could talk about the Twin Towers and motherfucker be like, oh, come on, man. Like, what do you mean? Too, is it too soon, bitch? It happened 30 years ago, Daniel. What the fuck are you, what are you talking about? We're talking about the Twin Towers now, nigga. Like, people won't let you talk about certain jokes and shit. They'll be like, eh, I don't know, man. That's kind of, that's kind of. Depends on how, how hard it, did it hit. But that, that's the thing, yeah. too. Like, the dude who just said, um, like, the lady who said the thing about the XX and Tashion, and then the motherfucker who had the um, the, the Kobe Bryant uh, joke and shit, uh, Ari mm-hmm. Shafir. Mm-hmm. Like, 
Ari Shafir is more controversial and pushing shit forward than Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle is more insightful and funnier than Ari Shafir. That's it. Mm. Ari Shafir is dope. He's really fucking funny. He's he's really funny. Mm. I listen to all people stand up on Joe Rogan shit just because for you to say you good or a stand up comedian or whatever, I gotta research your shit and let me go watch it. That's why I said like there's a lot there's a lot of motherfuckers bro who people tell me oh he's funny he's funny well, let me go watch it first and then I'll tell you you feel me because I tell people all the time, I think like um. Tommy Davidson doesn't give a lot of credit that he deserves. Keenan, damn, bro. I was finna say, man, Keenan Wayans, he's a goat. Did you see what happened with him over social media? Mm-hmm. Keenan Wayans is sitting at a table and he tells everybody, um, hey, you guys, appreciate all the love and wishes for the happy birthday. We retained quarantine, being safe. I got my son with me. We're just enjoying ourselves. Thank you, everybody. And he hits the screen. He thought he hit in. He gets up. Dick and balls. Ball is Johnson. Ball everywhere. Balls Johnson dance and then he turns around and walks and his son runs up. Whoa, 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 Dad! You didn't, you didn't, bro. You didn't see it. No. <laughs> I'm good. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm nah, good. they got it blurred out, but it's just because Keenan Williams doesn't get that credit either. He built a powerhouse. He put his whole family on. He doesn't get. Why that would credit. you even? I mean, even even if even if I knew I was safe with having. This this camera on. Why would I get up? Like, why would I be butt naked in front of this whole? He's not. He's. This is what he does, bro. Go through all that bullshit. It is what he did. That's what he does. And for anybody who's watching, y'all see it. Oh yeah, that's what it was. The people who couldn't go across the walk across the camera. Uh. So watch. This is him. Just telling people congratulations, man. You guys did great. I'm graduating. You think this is a stunt? No, this is him just being out of touch. This is just him being out of touch. Why is your pants on? It was a prank. (coughs) (coughs) It was a prank? (coughs) It was a prank because basically he was saying all you kids did all this hard work and shit for nothing. And his son was one of the ones he was looking forward to seeing graduate. Mm. And that's why he was like, they made a mockery of it. Mm. And it's a joke. You see how much attention it brought? That's what I mean. Controversial. Edgy. Man, fucking 60 years old. Dave Chappelle could never. If you watch Keenan stand up, mm-hmm. you will understand. Keenan Ivan Wayans been on this. I love Dave Chappelle. I watch his shit through and through. I watch it over and over. I love Bro, I've got motherfucking his Baltimore special right there on my fucking DVD. I love Dave. I've never seen Keenan stand up. Exactly. That's why I tell people when you give me your opinion, you're biased because you haven't done enough homework or knowledge. It could be your favorite rapper, favorite actor, whatever. I'm very well read. I've seen the stand-ups. I've read the books. I watched the movies. I heard the music. I've been to concerts. I've been to stand-up shows. And I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. And for those who know me, they know I know what I'm talking about. So when people give me opinions, I sometimes be biased. Because if you've never seen Keenan stand-up, you don't understand. A lot of people have never seen uh, Tracy Morgan stand-up. He's a fucking beast. And I put Tracy Morgan above a lot of people. But a lot of, they don't give him his credit. Mm. I, bro, controversy. I love Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac doesn't have not one special. I love him to death. He was in his prime when he died. That let you know he hit his prime when he was sixty years old. Mm-hmm. That's why my he management. Was killed company, in the that's why my media management today. company is called Broken Cop Management because there's no time on your success. Don't let nobody tell you you got to be twenty two and put your album out. If you ain't had your shit done, I see you at sixteen. They be like, why? Because you stop telling me what's a young man's sport and what ain't a young man this. Bro, there's no time on when you can succeed and blow. Kevin Hart mm-hmm. didn't see his first league till he was 30 some years old. Mm-hmm. He didn't see nothing, bro. And the people tell you all the time, but nah, it's this, it's that, bro. It's you you old and you ain't got the image or you can't do this, you can't do that. Meanwhile, people don't understand, bro. It's a broken clock on your success. No one can there's somebody who who back who who backs up your favorite running back, quarterback, basketball player. In his hometown, he's the biggest thing ever fucking made it, bro. Mm-hmm. He's successful. That but he in, in in Portland, where he plays behind Damian Lillard, he's not shit. 
But in his hometown in Nebraska, he's the best point guard ever made it the fuck up out of there. Nobody's ever because that's his, his success. And there's no clock time. There's no time on when you're gonna succeed. Yeah. The only time you fail is when you quit. That's the only time you fail at anything is when you quit. I love seeing that meme of the guy trying to break through the wall and he's done, while, and the other guys are walking away, and the other guys are almost probably two hits away from getting the goal. I love that meme because you never fail. But it's who's quit. looking at you. Also, you got to think about that too. It's who's looking at you. What you so, mean by that? <clears throat> who's looking at you? Meaning, who who do you care that's looking at you? Because you could be paying attention to those average Joe Schmoes. That come into the comments and, and telling section. you that you're not succeeding exactly. Because, okay. Versus the people that's around you, that's rallying around you. Because yeah. after a while, once this stuff start picking up, there's gonna be a cult behind this pickle size. Bro, thing. you don't and understand. These people yeah, you like, understand how how I'm not egotistical, but I know I speak that for nigga. I'm God, nigga. That's been egotistical, but I only get that confidence because I know who God is. I know what God is. I'm doing right unto you, my brother, as you do right unto me. I do right unto you, my sister, my viewers, my subscribers, as y'all do right unto me. I appreciate the views. I appreciate y'all fucking with us. I I appreciate it. This shit trash. These are conversations I have every day, bro. If mm-hmm. you weren't here, I'll probably still be having this conversation. Well, nah, I'd be, boy. Bitch, I'd be extra. I'm already extra high. I'd be extra fucking high, bro. But these are conversations, even if this Talking camera went on, the conversations like... Not, not talking about myself. That's my problem, bro. I don't say nothing oh, all day. Shit, so do. as soon as I see Richard or <clears throat> Jill, I see Hollow. As soon as I bump into somebody, I got so much shit to talk about because I've been mm-hmm. doing all this all day, sucking in all this shit all day, knowledge, all this entertainment all day. It's like, oh, shit, I, I tell my dog about it. I'm ready to burst out with it. Mm-hmm. That's why I can do this on and on and on. And I can do the podcast. It, it, talking? Oh, man. Yo. That's what y'all talking? This ain't shit, bro. I've been talking since I was born. I talked before I had teeth, nigga. Like shit like that, bro. <laughs> I was talking before I had teeth, nigga. But uh, bro, just, just shit like that, bro. Just let me know, man. How um, you there's no success. There's no no nothing, bro. I won the best athlete. I won athletic. I I played basketball one time. Dorica Dorica Carr, fuck you, ugly bitch, bitch. I love you, motherfucker. You know I love you. You my dog. But she crossed. We I played basketball for the projects. The second day of practice, she crossed me over, and mm. I hurt my motherfucking ankle so bad. I never played basketball the day I, I never in my entirely life played basketball. Hold up. Man, that sound like jit, man. That sound, y'all hear that? Fucking up our audio? Yo, he flat that nigga tired. He washed his car today. He feel like somebody. But bro, me first, bro, I realized that um, I got the ego of, I don't care who the fuck watches this. Mm-hmm. I care about y'all who are watching. Thank God for y'all and I fuck with y'all. I appreciate y'all, my boy. Not my stay. I said, the God in me recognize the God in you if there is any God in you. I do right on you, do right on to me. But I I understand people look for numbers. Oh, it ain't did this, it ain't did that. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Mm-hmm. I just thank God for the one, two people who watch. Like you said, 11 people who listen the other day. Mm-hmm. That's that's who we do it for. The motherfuckers who just not listen. The motherfuckers who just not watch. Like, that's mm-hmm. who we do. That That's all I care about, bro. Them the mother- I don't care about the motherfuckers talking about, oh, you need to do this and do that with your podcast, and they did nothing. I appreciate my little cousin Boogie and Lil Fat, too, man. They out there doing, uh, oh, shit, let me do it. Shout out to your motherfuckers with the subscribers, nigga. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the subscribers. Uh, shout out to uh, all 11 of y'all that listen to the show. EX3 Network. <laughs> Shit, yeah, yeah. Let a nigga just squeeze in. Yeah, who's that rapper? Well, this nigga drinking the motherfucking beer. That man got a steel reserve. <laughs> hey, hold on. We know y'all be scamming out here. <laughs> I know, bitch, be scamming. Big on zoom in on that bitch, G. <laughs> hey, big on zoom in on that bitch, man. Hey, get your mic right, man. Shit, man. Hey, man, shout out to subscribers real quick, man. Shout out to bitch who fuck with you, man. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out, shout out to old girl at, um, at Circle K downtown, man. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> She be she be showing love to a nigga. She hit me with, oh, you the podcast boy. No, <laughs> oh, you got hit with it. Yeah, uh, oh, hey man, tell her we got a t. <laughs> hey, tell her hit us up, man. We got yeah, a t-shirt got coming your way, man. I only ain't even get her name, but shout out to her, man. Oh, they hit my dog with the oh, you do the podcast. No, nah, we weren't rapping up. We still, we writing the hype for this motherfucker, man. We just going in and rapping about other shit, bro. But, uh, 
you know, me and bro were just talking about, man, like, shit, people started watching the shit the other day to, um, because he got it loaded up on iTunes and shit, man. I told him, I said, man, you know, bro, we just appreciate it to be having this shit going. Yeah, and to yeah. the, the couple people who do be watching, couple, it's going to be, and when it do, the people who was here first going to feel like, nah, bro, I was here first, man. Mm-hmm. I, you feel me? I been fucking with them boy type shit. I like fuck with you the long way. If you hear me, man? Shit, even like, man, I appreciate you coming through. Shit, I hear my dog, you feel me, bro? Even on last minute, it's like, yeah. I would got down up under that car, fix this Shit, man. Bro, look, I went through a list of your problems. I said my dog got family issues. He just got a new house. The cars, the shit, just got right. He washed it today, so he happy. Hey, you hear me? I put all your business out there. Yeah, him and the people arguing in the morning. Debit car got declined for apple juice. Like, bro, you, you hear me? Put it, nigga put it. Broke nigga problems, man. Real broke nigga problems. Broke nigga problems, boy. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I don't think I'm ready to have uh, rich nigga problems. Shit. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you like me told you. I rather cry in the Benz than the Honda. I know. I love that. <laughs> you know what, but you know what, though, bro? You know the rich people problem. If you cry again, it's going to be in the Rolls Royce. Hey, you know the rich Shit. people problem, though? I don't never want to get that rich that I'm crying that they ain't had, like, my Frappuccino at Starbucks. Nah, nah. That's I what I mean. I don't, I don't think I'll ever turn to that nigga. Yeah, I don't never want to be that nigga, man. Like, man, are you serious? I went to the fucking kick store. They did not. I, come on. I, I'm the type of nigga y'all ain't got it. Y'all gonna order. The fuck I, you I mean you it. ain't got the frappe latte? Yeah. Come, no whipped cream? <laughs> no whipped cream? <laughs> Whip. Where's your manager? Where's your manager? Where's your manager? <laughs> Yep, uh-huh. yep. Yeah. Right <laughs> you finna- that shit used to have a headache. Cause the bitch would put yeah. that car yeah. to the side and just be like, fuck you. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, I'm thinking about what time, bro. I, I did some lazy shit, just push my car, and as I'm backing out of it, back to it, I say, that's, <laughs> that God. that's God. That's God. That's God, bro. Nah, yeah. that'd be, that be God, man. I, bitch, I remember I used to be a cart boy. I would just be a cart boy at Sweet Bay, bitch. They hey. My fuck ass. Hey, boy, listen. Bro, they fired my being, fuck ass from sweet. Being, I, was being like, a, I was like 16, bro. Being, what, being what? a cart boy some hell, boy. I was like they 16, you, they, they fired had you my fuck ass. The, they had you working in the rain. And that was that's how I got fired, ain't it? So, and look, I, I'm just quick. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a jit, you feel what I'm saying? But I'm a big ass jit. Big ass so jit. They ain't got no raincoats my size. So they like go outside. With the, the ponchos, the, the rain ponchos. I'm like, no, nah, yeah. I ain't finna go out there. It's lightning and thundering. Bitch, y'all tripping. I'm gonna wait till it gets And out. ain't thunder and the lightning. For black folks, it's always lightning and thundering. Big, big, big. We don't care about the thunder. We see the lightning first. They ass up. They took, brought me to the office the next day, let me the fuck go. That you ain't go get the. Hey, how they how they how they watch? Hey, how they watch you in the office? Walk my ass up out of there, hey, Scott. Hey, come on. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me talk to you real quick. Oh, hey, oh, Scott, shit. come on, come back here. The day before, my dog had got fired for stealing goddamn swords from the on uh, deli. So it was all. Hey, listen, over I'm gonna tell you not. <laughs> if you working full time, you clock in on time, and you do not steal from your job, you getting whooped by the man. You getting whooped. You getting whooped. You, you, find you better to steal through. time. You better take two yeah. shits a day. I'm about to tell a bit, bitch. I, I, I'm scheduled for 40 hours a day, bitch. I'm working 32. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are never hey, me, bitch. Hey, bro. I don't care. No, bro. I used to hate my girl because tell me she, she had a long day. You work at a doctor's office. You sit at a table, bitch, and wait for people to come check in. See, I thought that shit, too. But you feel me? You get, I work at a desk, too. Man, you that get shit, tired that mentally? Tiring, bro. Oh, my God, bro. You get phone so rang, fucking. man. Fuck this <laughs> phone. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I be coming to work sometime. Bitch, I got 40 hey, messages on my Hey, screen. my sister been here working from home, and she been calling off from work every calling other day. Off. And she work from home. She don't give gonna, a fuck. She going to use day. her PTO in. I said, you going to make it in to the bed? You ain't going to make it in to the bed? She going to tell the people she had a flat. I said, Brittany, you a dirty motherfucker, boy. Big, big, front big front room dirty motherfucker. Yeah, the, yeah. Front room flooded. I can't. You got to have an excuse for anything. Every, any and everything, man. So, why were you late? I'm walking my dog. Don't you ever. <laughs> Boy, look, on look, cue, look at this motherfucker. Big, barking you said shit. something about walking? Big crab <laughs> ass. I know a big and tired of them kids, though, boy. Oh, yeah, boy, my kids. My cousin was trying to drop my her little kids. I'm like, I'm not watching these motherfuckers tomorrow. All they want to do is play, play. Hey, that's all they did, yeah. too. That's, they just play PlayStation all day. But I was like, damn, come on, I'll give you a break, man. Mm-hmm. I, I seen it in her face. It was like, if you don't take them to state fence to it, yeah. if, cause boy, I ain't going to drop their ass off at the fire <laughs> <pie station. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> we'll let the fireman handle it hey, in 30 minutes. Listen, bro, when they open school back up, it's finna be so motherfucking lit. Just gonna have five masks on mm-hmm. in school, man. Listen, boy. Your mama gonna be so I said I love that damn meme with that deal. Y'all gonna make me bitch dropping the fuck off them kids. <laughs> <laughs> 
I bitch, I'm gone. The daycares and shit ain't open either, though, is it? Nah, daycare's closed, too. Yeah, damn. But they don't open us back up? Yeah. I just seen um the little court by the hospital. Social experience. The court by the hospital swollen as a motherfucker right now. Niggas out there playing b-ball. Niggas out there hanging out right now, yeah, bitch. Yeah, they, they deep. You it's seen them deep. in Clueston last night, wasn't it? You seen them? Nah, little, what you ain't, Oh, they were deep in... Oh! <laughs> nigga, I don't know if that was an old video or not, but I seen it yesterday, and it said live, bro. Bro, they was deep in that bitch, bro. You know niggas don't know how to handle You ain't seen what happened to the nigga in Chicago last week, though? We was doing a pod round that on that day, I think. But a nigga in Chicago, like, they said um, they uplifted certain shit. So he had a big-ass house party, like Airbnb uh-huh. shit, hung out. Why they don't put him with press charges on the man? Yeah, you can't man. do that shit. I seen a, um, a strip club had tried to open up their shit and said it was a restaurant. Bro, I didn't. You know what? Strip bed, clubs, bed. I was thinking about. But you know what I wasn't thinking about this whole quarantine time? The men who go to strip clubs and be so desperate. Mm-hmm. You hear me? Bro, here's some shit I was going to get to on this part, bro. You hear me? We still got about 20 minutes in this bit, bro. But it's, bro, here's some shit I was going to get to on this part. We're going to say, we're going to take ta- table that topic for next next part. But, boy, but I feel bad for the niggas who used to go to strip club just get some attention. That's how they're going to get their attention, by, by buying a couple of drinks and he going to tip. I feel bad because they can't get that now. They at home frying that dick uh-huh. up. They beating that bitch to the wall. <laughs> that dick limp. That dick screaming. That dick, oh. Every time he pull his pants down, that bitch squirming. I don't want to. That stimulus check on Walmart, get your big screen TV. Hey, when they come out. I seen that 3D Just porn. Throw money at the TV. Pick I seen shit that. I seen up. that 3D. But that ain't what they go for. They go for the attention. I'm talking yeah, about like uh-huh. the weird creep dudes. That's because they like, they like. A lot of them be single, and a lot of them been up been married for so long they fucking tired of they fucking wife. And listen, and if I'm if I'm married, man, let me go to this. Listen, I'm never gonna get married. I'm gonna sign a contract. That's all you gonna get out of me, bitch. Just as good as marriage, bitch. I fuck with Steven Jackson, bro. That shit, bro. Have you did you see that shit? You finally wanna watch that shit? What? Steven Jackson. He talking about leaving his wife at the altar. Yeah, I, I read. I ain't see it, but I but I read the little um shit. And he, she he went ain't in. Wrong. She went in, and he wasn't wrong. He was definitely I, she went wrong. in, and he went she back. She was trying to finesse him. She was her and the pastor. Her and, and the, the pastor. pastor was trying to finesse her. So they don't believe in it. Y'all got me fucked up. Bitch, I'll leave you right now. Man, here. tell me we believe in love and love. Unity between each other. Unite my bank account with hers. This whole broke, yeah. man. Get, yeah. Man, listen. And, and all he was doing him. was telling he, she talking about he bad, he was just telling his story for the young niggas. Mm-hmm. Cause you know the story came out by um Gilbert Arena's fucking uh swaggy P mm-hmm. girl or whatever. Talking about just teaching about that. Yeah. Uh-huh. But like, bro, you know what? And I'll be real, bro, I had an incident. I had a situation just like that, bro. I had a nigga tell me something, bro. I only fucked her, bro, just to show you, bro. That's what these thought hoes do. Oh, yeah? All right. You a fuck nigga for that. You could just let and me. Then, he, then uh, what's my call? Hit, 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 hit his, um, his fiance uh, friend or some shit the night of the wedding. <laughs> Steven Jackson, that, the, night, the night of the wedding, they said fuck all that. and went and hung out at some club or whatever. Uh-huh. He said he had Mike Bibby with him and all that shit. That shit he said about Mike Bibby. Mama well, Mike, women, what he, what, Mike Bibby was a DJ, and the first yep. thing he said was he played with Gold Digger. Gold Digger. <laughs> she take my money when I'm in need. Hey, bro, but G shit, though, I, I, like, I like this whole story and all, bro. I really like when he was getting ready to break down by Mike Bibby. Mama, he like, cause it took a woman to tell him this day, like, Nigga said he was crying. She wiped the snot mm-hmm. with a bad hand hands. and yeah. just told him uh-huh. you became a man today. Yep. That's the biggest decision of your life. Like, bro, you, you, you try to just save yourself ten million dollars just by doing that. Without, shit. without even, without even really knowing that you just saved your shit a shit a shit ton of money, bro. People don't be understanding that. People be thinking that, oh, nah, bro, you want to make sure that that a bit love you like this, man. All that love shit, bro. That shit get thrown out the motherfucking window, man. Mm-hmm. That shit don't mean yep. shit, man. That's why them old folks tell you all the time, man. Bitch, always that bitch stupid, man. And that's why I bitch tell you all the time, though, man. You definitely got to, you definitely, old school people, you tell them, motherfucker, you marry for money. You don't marry for love. Mm-hmm. And that's why it's a lot of women out here who, bro, those motherfuckers be together 30, 40 years. Because just to be like, fucking, because if we leave each other, and then And ain't even in love no more. It ain't even in love no more. It's just a situation. Motherfucker together just for the convenience. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to lie, bro. You know my favorite line to tell a motherfucker, don't talk to me unless you can leave that nigga right now. Cause it's some people can't break up to the lease up. Yeah, for a fact. Can't break up to the I mean, lease I'm gonna talk about that shit one day. How Man. many? How many people you think still in a relationship or a situationship or whatever the fuck it is? Because situation they can't financially leave. We topping that for next week, boy. Cause boy, <laughs> we got some shit to get into, man. G. My top of the day was being racist on porn. Are you racist with your porn? That was the Facebook topic. Like, do I shit. watch white porn? Yeah. That nah, was. that shit weird as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 
That shit weird as hell, bro. Hey, bro. It just hey, don't seem. It don't. don't. Seem natural, why your like... pink? Why your pussy pink on the outside <laughs> and inside? Like, why? What's wrong with her? Why does she have a vagina? Where's her pussy at? And then this shit don't have a scene. This shit just start. Just start. You feel what I'm saying? It ain't got the little section, the little cut to it or uh-huh. nothing. None of it just got a. That bitch just start. Up. Boom. Like a button. That's why them. That's why Barbie made the way she barked. Cause <laughs> they pussy be tucked underneath they, they pelvis. <laughs> Right, you know black. you watch, you know you watch black porn. You see the bitch walking down the street. Pussy, you can see pussy. Short shorts on. She got there. He pull up on her. You feel what I'm saying? She get to the crib, and it's it's a, it's, it's a, a whole it's a scene. these white hoes. white porn. That bitch just start boom right uh, there. Uh, uh, uh. Stacy getting ass <laughs> fuck with a pussy. And I'm gonna tell you what fucked me up about white porn. The titles of the shit. Stepdad's fuck stepdaughter. I don't want to watch all that shit. All of them. Bro. I don't want to watch know that crazy? shit. You're to the point to what? Black porn like that now. I don't want to watch that them. shit, bro. The that shit bitch always in that move out, the, the cow outfit and the blonde wig, bitch. You always getting fucked by that crowd. You like that <laughs> shit, bitch. You woke up and let him put that pink dick inside you. Oh, you nasty. You're disgusting. You should kill yourself. Don't kill yourself, but you should. It's nasty. Be better. <laughs> Do better. It's plenty of dick around here. You nasty white bitch. You's a nasty black bitch to wake up and say, well, I'm going to let that white boy fuck me. That's a waste of good white pussy, boy. Good, good white pussy should just be out there fucking Dave and Daniel. Yeah. Go ahead, uh-huh. do do your thing, boy. White Don't people shit weird. Man. Weird as fuck. <laughs> weird, nigga. Weird. I ain't gonna lie. I seen the one uh, uh, like back in the day, bro. I was a kid. My uncle and me literally had a copy of Debbie Does Dallas. Like the Debbie Dallas Cowboy. You know what? I, I, I heard of that one. Back in the day. I back in say, the, I and you know what, bro? I, like, I watch so much porn, bro. But my bitch know more of these porn stars than I do. She know Lexington Steel. She know all these motherfuckers. She know uh, Rico and all these. I said, boy, you know all the porn stars. Uh-huh. The nigga with the gun on his motherfucking tattoo <laughs> yeah. and shit. That nigga been Wesley Pipes. Wesley Pipes. <laughs> bitch. This whole, my bitch been watching. That's why I tell him, that's why I tell him, I said, man, females are more horny than men. Because like I tell him, bro, I had a situation where the chick was like, man, Mike, what's up with you? I know you ain't funny, but what's up with you? That was like, bro, I've been in a situation where I'm not aggressive when it comes to pussy mm-hmm. like that. I'm not finna be the aggressor. Cause and then for one, we live in Fort Myers, bro. It's so much aggressive dead pussy. It's the walking dead around here. Yeah. It's you, you hear me. You, you hear me. So bro, and then, then and then seeing seeing shit like that annoying. Bitch, ain't no ain't no way in fuck. I'm just finna deal with bitch and I and I know you dying out here, bitch. You the walking dead. Yeah. I just like I told you the chick that I that I that I uh, had the biggest crush on in high school, I finally got her the, and you feel what I'm saying? But that whole that whole was got down over with. Quarantine by over with, bitch. We up out of here in a minute. I ain't finna got down. I ain't finna be the first nigga to go out there though. No, no sir. <laughs> bitch won't give me the goddamn first wave of the virus. <laughs> I ain't hanging out. I ain't hanging out until I see at least one person die from hanging out on the first wave. I, I ain't hanging out till the bitch tell me. That shit declining. When it's when it's declining, it ain't numbers ain't spiked back up. Okay, they now we can a, hang out. Hey, and I don't care if they got a vaccine. I still ain't going outside. I'm not getting a vaccine. Yeah, I ain't going. Because <laughs> cool, all they gonna do is gonna be like this ten dudes. Um, Forty five people just died on uh-huh. the beach this afternoon no. since yesterday. Yeah. Huh? And then then I gotta sit here and think. Cause my busted ass bitch was at the beach yesterday. Mm. Get your stupid ass in the house, bitch. You in here catching a co- co- got Corona cooch out here, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my cousin's stupid, bitch. My cousin say, hey, watching no white people's porn. <laughs> no, no, I can't. I can't. It ain't. Hey, man, we'll make sure. Listen, man, we're going to make sure. Man, listen, I can drink a little Hennessy. I can do my little thug just a little bit. We'll have that shit on this motherfucker. My dog talking about where the Henny at, bitch. That my cousin went out there and did, went to Henny Palooza up there in uh, Dallas. I heard that shit. That shit was, uh, that shit was, bro, oh my God. I heard that shit so Yellow, bro, that alive. shit was so fucking, bro, I ain't never seen that many black folks at one time. Dallas got, bro, there was so many folks from everywhere, bro. Folks from every fucking work were coming See, that shit. that's what shit we got to hit, bitch. Bro, that's why I be telling, man, bro, I be trying to get, <laughs> listen, when this shit, when the first two waves out the way, I'm slime. So mm-hmm. catch me around Christmas time. Because they, boy. Cause I don't want to be around none of this shit. And there's some of you hoes probably already got that corona, boy. Bitch, you naked. Got that corona. See, motherfucker got shit worse than the corona. Bitch, I right. You the walking dead, bitch. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I was saying, bro. I had a situation where, like, my dogs got accused of some shit, and I'm guilty by association. Cause I hang with these niggas every day. So I was like, you know what? I ain't never want to, like, have a bitch tarnish my name. And I always want to make sure the female around me, she's comfortable. She feel a certain way. She A-OK. That's why I'm the jokey joke, laughy mm-hmm. nigga. I do whatever. And kick it and I watch love and hip hop. I know what's up with all the current events. All right, I'm gonna kick it with a bitch. No problem. Make her feel comfortable. 
I don't need her coming to tell me, hey, he over there fucking with me type of way. You feel me? And I tell niggas all the time, hold your homeboys accountable too, man. Like, if your homeboy not paying child support, get on that nigga ass, man. That bum ass nigga yeah, around here buying sections. That, 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 that one thing, you feel what I'm saying? Me and my dogs uh, ain't ain't. We don't, we don't bite our tongue about no shit like that. If you ain't you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing, hey, as soon as wrong, dog gonna let that shit know. You let a bitch saying? know, you bro. Tripping, you tripping, like, bro. You tripping, bro. You know, and you know it's crazy, bro. I don't have kids, bro. I've stepped up in so many situations, and be like, this all it is to be a dad. Damn, these kids get annoying like uh -huh. a motherfucker. Bro, I'll be dying when I hear you and Scott on the guy. I'll be, I'll be like, I know this bitch. Bro, because don't nobody understand, bro. You a big nigga, bro, but they don't understand that, bro, how small you are to her. Uh -huh. You don't she mean she, you know, nigga, every, she every, be, Everybody say she got me right around. Boy, she be that. sizing ain't, this nigga, boy. Worry about that shit. Boy, she be, she be sizing the motherfucker, boy. My <laughs> cousin say, yeah, all my baby mama's good. But that's how I should be, though, bro. But but I see dude, cause when I stepped up to the position of being a stepdad, bro, if one, I'm like, damn, okay, I see what kids get aggravated now. It do get annoying, but bro, it's the precious time. Like, how can a nigga miss the, and these ain't even my kids. Mm -hmm. How can a nigga how could be? you miss, like, your kid taking their first step, saying their first words? How can you miss your kid coming home telling telling you, hey, this girl, this girl told me to follow her on IG. Uh-huh. Like, my shit, like Jit that, was like. so excited. <laughs> I kept, I said, I'm like, what's, I could tell something up with you, man. What's up, Trey? He like. She want me to follow her on IG, uh -huh. but she ain't follow me back yet. I said, so you nervous? <laughs> I don't know. She she ain't she she ain't got no Wi-Fi with I said, so what's up, Trey? What's wrong? Like, she gonna follow me back. I said, yeah, you a cool little nigga, man. She gonna follow you back, bro. Don't worry about it. So she hit him back. He had a screenshot of text, but bro, it made me feel so worn because I know he's like, Mike said she was gonna. And that shit, how can them, and your dad ain't done? Mm -hmm. How your, your dad needed to see that? That shit your dad needed to see, bro. Like I said, bro, ain't nothing worse than a deadbeat, than a deadbeat nigga that's taking care of somebody else's kids. Bro, oh, yes. That's My dog way. stated that shit, boy. <laughs> the worst thing you can do besides taking care of your kids is take care of the next nigga kids while your kids suffering. I seen that shit with Booster talking about his baby mama. He give all the baby mama, the girl talking about that ain't enough. Booster said he give all the baby mama $2,500 a month or 2300 something like that a mm -hmm. month. All of them. And he got about 10. His one baby, his one baby, yeah, his, his boozer. <laughs> his one baby mama say that one, and his one baby, oh, one girl was like, da da da, she should pay him more, this and that, da da da. And then reading, and Boosie was like, and that's why she gets 780 a month. Mm -hmm. Cause she went and filed on child support, not look at him. Yeah. Cause Don't you want to get the people could. involved with uh -huh. this shit. Nah, like, bro, and like they, I ain't got lawyers out here. Man, look, and I don't, bro, and bro, these females be keeping these niggas away from their kids just as much as the niggas be keeping they self away, bro. Nigga be talking about how they want to motherfucking be there for their kids, bro. How, nigga? You ain't doing... And niggas talk a lot, but you ain't went and got a job. You ain't went and showed your baby mama that you ain't with this girl no more who mm -hmm. she said don't have her kids around because she a messy bitch. And the motherfucker, you female got to stop worrying about who your baby daddy got a bitch around, like, if they A-OK -okay chick. Stop just hating on the bitch because you hate a bitch. Just yeah. stop. Just cause. Just, ugh. <laughs> You got you got beef with a bitch just cause she fucked with just, your baby dad. Just don't cause, even know girl. just cause, bro. Just, Leave that damn girl. I, I don't like that shit, and I don't like for a motherfucker to try to put a wedge between a bitch you dating because they don't want her. They just don't want you to have mm -hmm. her. Bro, I had a mother tell me how I be. Oh, she a hoe. Well, I ain't hold with her yet. It's my turn, yeah. bro. It's, and I me learned, personally, I don't give a. F if she could have been a hoe, I, if I like, her, I like. Her. I like her. You finna hoe with me now? Yeah. If I, I don't like, care. I like her. It's a bitch out there. Now nah, I like. Her. I like you a lot, bitch. You know I like you, bitch. And they say all kinds. She did. She that mm -hmm. ran through. Well, bitch, I got my Nikes on. I'm finna run too, bitch. Fuck you, mean. But my thing, like, she she might have been all that with you. I yeah. brought this up out of. Mm -hmm. Now we different. It, it's a different different people bring different shit up out of each other. Now, so my, so I have a question, right? Being on this whole topic, if you was to get married, would you rather marry a bitch who's been through their whole phase, or a bitch who who's never been through any of that type of shit at all? Are oh, we getting married? You had to have this shit out your way. Out the way. I don't care. You got to run a train <laughs> on. I don't care if you fuck your cousin, baby, daddy. Okay. As long okay. as you got out the way, because you, you feel how I feel. Because I feel if once we married, then I'm out here providing, protecting a hoe. Mm -hmm. Or a motherfucker who's a ticking time bomb who's ready Who to go. Be, yeah, at any time. And you don't know if she's loyal or yeah, not. Uh -huh. Swaggy P situation. Nigga, mm -hmm. fuck your bitch and you mad at him. You feel me? If you, man, that mean you see, man, bro, I know you don't fuck with your boy like that, bro. You just be bi, bro. You go fuck with, you gonna fuck with Joe. You be like, okay, I see, I fuck with bro. But you see that what Joe said, if a nigga could take my bitch, you did me a favor. Yeah, they think you my did bitch. Me. She was never mine to begin with. It ain't, man, listen, bro, hey, man, PMC said, that ain't your bitch, man, that's just your turn. Mm -hmm. It ain't your bitch, it's just your turn at that bitch. Definitely. If, she, and, if, if any, if, if your girl can be taken by any nigga, I don't give a fuck who she is. She, she was, was never, never yours. yours from the beginning. She was never yours. 
type shit. Like cause, a, cause a female, if 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 your girl fine, she gonna get hollered at every time she leave the house. Every time. And a it's nigga like gonna you. try. A nigga, a nigga might not even holler at her. A nigga might just be like on some staring type shit. Like mm-hmm. damn, you feel what I'm saying? A bitch, a nigga gonna look at her every time, potentially trying to holler at her every time she leave the house if she's fine. And you gotta have the confidence. She ain't even gotta be fine. She could just be a woman. Yeah, cause she gonna get looked at. She gonna get looked at. For all you niggas talking about the ugly Cause I look at every and, ass that walk yeah, past me. So don't talk about no ugly bitch. <laughs> Stop talking about, oh, she too fat. She It's a thousand niggas in fat girl inbox. Thousand yep. niggas in that ugly ugly girl fat inbox. Fat bitches get pregnant every day. Every day. And taking your ugly niggas. Ugly bitches get pregnant bitch every day. Bitches be in the gym crunching stairs and everything for a bitch to come on who can't even undo her bra from yep. the back to come take your nigga. Mm-hmm. They be doing all that shit. Cause I ain't gonna lie. Bitch, my bitch, boy, get your ass fit you want to. Lose too much weight. I'm going to lose me. <laughs> bitch, all right. Bitch, I like the grip shit. <laughs> bitch, all right. But the mother be on all that insecure shit, bro, not realizing that your girl is going to get a man to stare at her every day because you staring at her. Mm-hmm. You ain't the only man like this woman. She look like something. So motherfucker be in their feelings about, man, shit, my girl ain't this and that. Okay, well, she wasn't done being a whole body. Yep. She just wasn't done. Mm-hmm. And even then, bro, I, Brian, I, I ain't trying to deal with a motherfucker who... Don't tell me you don't only been with two, three niggas either, too. Don't tell me because you lying. Probably been 20, 30. And I prefer you done already hit by 10, 15, 20, 30 niggas. I already. Because don't come around me and you can't fuck. Don't come around me. You don't know how to fuck. Now, you, bitch, you come around me on some crap. I ain't trying to do it. Bitch, I don't even want to deal with you because I feel like you inexperienced for one. And for two, you going to want me to grow up with a bitch. This bitch, my cousin, who you talking about? You should have kept sugar nasty. Uh, I've been talking about who you talking about. Should have kept sugar nasty. You should have kept. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pete, fuck you, man. I'm gonna move to Dallas and marry with them hoes that strip at the cabaret. Fuck all that, bitch. I went to the cabaret and fell in love every time I been in the corner. I'm like, oh my god. Oh, they hanging out. Where the bitch at? Uh, they man? say Harlem. I'm trying to see if it's no, Harlem Heights or Harlem Lake. Late, man. They I ain't going to Harlem Lake. I ain't going to Harlem Heights either. <laughs> Shit, man. They hanging <laughs> out. <laughs> boy, they hanging, boy. Bitch hanging out, boy. God. Just sorry, I ain't scared to go nowhere, but it's just. Hey, boy, you can't tell me this shit, boy. But I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, see, even that, I went. I ain't even gonna hang around that. I ain't. <laughs> and you know, I fuck with bro tough. I ain't even gonna hang around <laughs> nothing right now. I, I'm real deep, bro. I gotta make sure the coast clear, cause the way they saying this Corona shit, I don't wanna. I don't wanna have to go back into what we doing with now. Uh huh. So, so I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna eventually do that. I think we niggas to the point where niggas done came out. Y'all talking about y'all from the chill, and now it's done. Boom! I mm-hmm. locked back down for six months now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I don't think we need to do it, bro. And for you motherfuckers who keep wearing these masks, it's not gonna stop you from getting the corona. It's if you have the corona, it's to help stop spreading the corona. Then I see motherfucker, man. I seen a bitch in Walmart, bro. Man, just, she had on a mask, and then one of her kids had on a mask. Psh. Yeah, I seen that shit too. Um, I'm walking through Walmart. Her and her Psh. nigga on the mask, but Jit just. Running around and shit. That's nah, the dumbest shit. Only I've thing ever my seen. logic went to was, oh, he might be first grade or seventh grade. He might have just got a shot. Mm-hmm. Uh, nah, it was the one I seen. He was legit with like three, jit. four years old, Aye. like a baby. Aye. You got your baby out here. You got a full fucking mask and on. Your baby, your baby just riding around, touching everything and breathing. Fucking with fucking shit. Air. That yeah, shit was yeah. like mid Corona. Too. I don't like, like this Corona shit. shit. This, this shit done made me. I used to open up yogurts in Walmart. I used to open take grapes. I done stopped all that shit. Corona, you yeah, know what I, you did. I definitely used to pop the, uh, the grapes <laughs> over, bitch. I eat by half of these bitches. Hey, get to Corona, the Corona, you know what you did, bitch. You know what you done did, man. Hey, I used to say we got a few minutes. We got to get up out this bitch, man. Hey, man. Shout out my dog. Shout out my dog, man. Uh, bro, I got to get my dog on this motherfucker, man. My dog say, <laughs> hey, bitch say Dallas big ass county, bitch. You fine without the man. That's real because it's the hottest fuck up there, too. Hey, man, we got to get ready to get up out of here, man. Once again, man, I appreciate Jit for coming through this bitch, man. Yeah. My dog had a gift from him with that whip, boy. Hey, bitch, say, what that nigga took when he got better? Who? Baby face. I don't know what. Whip or pill. <laughs> I said, bitch, stupid, man. <laughs> bitch, stupid, man. Hey, bitch had me dying. But, uh, shout out Baby Face, too, man. He just overcame that corona shit, too. Yeah, you know, he was doing that, that shit while he had corona. Oh, like, yeah? Yeah. He was doing that versus battle while trying to recover from it. So seeing that. Let's me know some other shit. But fuck all that, because y'all going to think Illuminati shit. Hey, man, I appreciate everybody for tuning in, man. Once again, man, if you made it this far to the episode, shit, hit us up in the inbox, man. I had one individual hit me so far. Bro, your shirt in the process getting made. Nah, you hear me? We got two different kinds getting made. I got, gee, I got your shirt getting made. We finna be in the business having our own shit, shitting on you that fuck real. niggas. 
faggot ass fuck niggas. And uh, I got some artwork, man. I'm gonna have uh, drawn. I'll, it was getting drawn up. I'm gonna have it uh, put together. I got some artwork, man. Um, I appreciate everybody who's supporting this motherfucker, man. Shit, we trying to take off in the motherfucker. Hey, we're on our way to episode 50, man. Y'all know it's going to happen. Episode 50, we're going to turn up. Mm -hmm. We got the other show we're working on. COVID going to get us about the way. Uh, to everybody reaching out for interviews, too. Uh, Icy, we got an update on the studio. Nah, that bitch condemned. They found a dead roach in that motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> 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 I been condemned. But until then, man, um, I will be having a guest on, I think, next episode or probably episode after that. Uh, we doing this at my house. I don't know you motherfuckers be in my house like this. Fuck wrong with y'all. Shit. He get mad at me on a later episode. I done said some slick shit about your faggot ass, gay ass, ugly ass, fat mouth, dick nose ass. Bitch, oh yeah, I know where they stay at. <laughs> he stay over there by the, yeah, bitch. And <laughs> now here we go. Now, my, now, now I got to let my dog out. Now we got to fight you. See, now, and I ain't trying to do all that, man. I just got renters insurance. That shit only cover laptops and refrigerators. I got that cheap renters insurance. That shit don't cover shit. It's yeah, we making deals and Hello. shit. You hear that? That's Diddy on the phone. Fuck, nigga. Yeah, shit finna be on revolt. Fuck, nigga. Y'all ain't, man. We, yeah, we finna have all kind of shit, nigga. They gonna have us on Facebook, Facebook Live, nigga, for real. But I appreciate everybody tuning in, man. This has been another episode, man. Oh, I don't know, cuz. Shit, man. Inbox, man. So I get your shit, man. Get all uh, the t-shirts and shit sent out, man. Uh, once again, man, I appreciate everybody tuning in to another episode of Picky Sasha Chronicles, man. We'll fight this bitch, man. Jit, let them know where they can find you at. LL Cool Jit. Yes, sir. I see we at the EX3 Network on iTunes, man. On, on iTunes, iTunes, man. Check us the fuck out, man. You hear me? On I Listen, bro. And leave a five star. Man, just leave a one star. It don't matter. Leave a review. Leave a rate. Drop some pancakes and donuts in that motherfucker for it, man. You hear me? We out this motherfucker cranking, man. We're going to have some more shit come for y'all soon, man. Shout out to everybody. Keep us close, man. I am your host. Lither Dilla Larry, we out this motherfucker.